Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown up? Dinosaur! George <laughs> wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Oh, 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 all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? Silly George, dinosaurs don't go to the dentist, <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. Wow. But you can have a sticker anyway. Wow. I think you'd make a very good dentist. Dinosaur! Wow. <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But... I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, the park. <laughs> Stop! You forgot us. Come back. <laughs> vroom. Vroom. <laughs> <laughs> You have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George have decided to dress up in Mummy and Daddy Pig's grown-up clothes. Gosh! What are these two grown-ups doing in our bedroom? I'm not a grown-up. I'm Peppa and that is George. Well, you both look very lovely. But why are you wearing our clothes? We want to choose our own clothes today. Whoa! <laughs> well, you do look very grown-up. But I think our clothes might be a bit too big for you. Yes, these are a bit too big. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> these clothes fit much better. Peppa and George have decided to wear their own clothes instead. <laughs> now, you need to make sure you choose the right clothes for the weather. Today, it is very sunny and hot. Oh! <laughs> Do you think those are good clothes for a sunny day? Um, no. They're a bit too hot. <sighs> and a bit too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have found some summery clothes to wear. That's much better. Now you also need to choose the right clothes for what you're going to do today. 
We're going to play group. But first, we want to jump in muddy puddles. Puddles! Oh dear. <laughs> Pepper and George aren't wearing the right shoes for jumping in muddy puddles. Do you think you should wear boots instead? I think we should wear boots instead. Ho ho ho! Splendid idea! <laughs> Lovely! Are we ready to go? Almost! I just want to try on a few more things. Bonjour, children! Wow! What beautiful <laughs> outfits you have on Pepper and George! They picked them all by themselves. <laughs> I can see that. And those boots. If you want to jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Madam mm. Gazelle. Of course! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. I suppose it is lucky I brought my boots today as well. <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa Pig Tails. Let's jump in. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes! <laughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to oh. go bowling. And he ah. loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> those are tap dancing uh -huh. shoes. Uh -huh. They're very noisy! <laughs> George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy! <laughs> George oh. loves clown Whoa. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. <laughs> shoes! Shoes! George tries on lots of shoes. <laughs> Tall ones. Little ones. Oh. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. <laughs> they are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just <laughs> like his old <laughs> shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! George <laughs> loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. Whoopsie! <gasps> Today, it is show and tell at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Keep practicing, Peppa. You'll get the hang of it soon. Thank you, Susie. You make a wonderful starfish. <laughs> now it is Peppa's turn. 
I am the amazing Mysterio. And I am the amazing Pepper O. <laughs> and we are going to show you some really <laughs> magical magic. <laughs> Ah! Amazing Mr. O, please pass me my top hat. Um, you're wearing it, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> now I will pull a toy rabbit out of it. The toy rabbit is still on Peppa's head. Abracadabra, biddly bop. <gasps> I can't find the toy rabbit. <gasps> oh, there it is. Ta-da! <laughs> Time for my next trick. Would you like some flowers, Madam Gazelle? I would love some, Peppa. For her next trick, Peppa is going to make some flowers appear. Abracadabra, biddly boy. <laughs> Abracadabra, biddly boy! Ho, 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 ho! That does tickle. Why don't you try the magic ring trick, Peppa? I mean, amazing Peppa, oh! Good idea, Daddy. Uh, I mean, amazing Mysterio. Peppa is going to make the two rings join together with magic. Abracadabra, biddly bob. It is quite hard to magically join the rings together <gasps> and a bit messy. I don't think I'm very good at magic, Daddy. Yes, you are. You're the amazing Peppa O. You can do it, Peppa. <laughs> okay, Daddy. <laughs> Abracadabra, biddly bang! Wow! Oh, what a marvellous magic show! Well done, Pepper. You are a true magician. Thank you. And for our last trick, we will disappear. Bye bye. Peppa loves magic tricks. Everyone loves magic tricks. Peppa and her family are out in the car. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh dear, the car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry, I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr. Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Peppa like being towed. Hmm. Oh, ha! Oh, dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh, oh. oh dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Whee! Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. Oh. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. 
It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Today, Pepper is very excited to get ready for playgroup. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hop. That's because today is Picture Day. Hooray! Madam hmm. Gazelle has made a special photo booth for Picture Day. Ready for your picture, Peppa? Yes. I stayed clean and tidy all morning. That's fun. I brought my football kit for my picture. Oh. Peppa didn't know that she could dress up for picture day. Hello, children. You may dress up for your pictures if you like. Hooray! But remember, all that matters is that your picture show something special about you. Oh, oh. Would you like to go first, Danny? Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa thinks Ooh. Danny's pictures look very good indeed. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Susie Sheep has dressed as a nurse for her picture. She loves to dress up as a nurse. Hmm. Mandy Mouse loves to play the recorder, <laughs> so she is playing a song in her pictures. What a lovely tune, Mandy. <laughs> George, would you like to go next? What are you going to use for your picture, George? Dinosaur! George has decided to take his picture with his favourite toy. What a ferocious dinosaur you are, George. Peppa, it's your turn. But I haven't found anything perfect to wear, Madam Gazelle. Oh, you don't have to wear something special, Peppa. Your picture just has to have something that makes you happy. Oh. <laughs> Nothing makes Peppa happier <gasps> than jumping in muddy puddles. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perfect! Now there is just one picture left to take. A class picture. But who is going to take the picture, Madam Gazelle? The camera has a timer, huh? so it will take the picture all by itself in three... Two, one, say cheese. Cheese! Peppa and her friends love Picture Day, but oh. Madam Gazelle loves Picture Day most of all. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house? Please? Please? Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Hooray! Ooh! This is the Rickety Rackety Bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> 
Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The Funhouse mirrors make Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. The Funhouse Tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Yay! I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Today, Peppa is playing with her toy blocks. <gasps> Oop! Careful, George. This is a very small town Whoa. and you're a very giant <laughs> dinosaur. That gives me an idea. Do you want to play giants, George? <laughs> George is very excited to play giants with Pepper. Hello, Police Officer Panda. What a lovely, quiet, normal day in Toyland. <laughs> and definitely no sign of... <gasps> Hello, I am Giant Pepper. <gasps> a giant! Two giants! <laughs> Pepper and George are imagining their giants in a pretend <laughs> toy block world. Hello, birds! Hello, clouds! <laughs> We can help you with that. We are very tall giants. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, careful, George. <laughs> there you go, Susie. Hooray! Giant Pepper and Giant George love to help their friends in Toyland. <gasps> They help the passengers Whee! to get on the bus. Oh, wee! 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 <laughs> and help the boats go very, very fast. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> it's the bridge you broke earlier. Oh. Don't worry. We can fix it. <laughs> Pepper and George are experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Giant Pepper and Giant George. Stop! Uh, I mean, go! Hooray! 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 Oh, goody! Yay! Hungry. I'm hungry too. The food in Toyland is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. Whoa! Dinner time! Hooray! So they will have to have real food <gasps> instead. Careful, George! <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Pepper, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. Got you. 
for you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your tea, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um. <coughs> Go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea! <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs Peppa? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! So I can see your teeth. Ah! Peppa is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you! <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Well done, Peppa and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, but, uh, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> Then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the sides. Tops and bottoms. Oh. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. <gasps> Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist, and Peppa really likes stickers. Squish! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's mm. lots of colours. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. 
Everyone <laughs> thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice <laughs> tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm, <laughs> this is apple juice. Ah. Ah. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice, and Peppa really loves her delicious <laughs> rainbow juice. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. <coughs> Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh, dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mummy! A yo-yo! Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! Oh. George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now Pepper's token <laughs> makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Pepper hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh! <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to <gasps> worry, Mummy Pig, I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope, nope. Screwdriver! <gasps> ah, oh, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Whoops! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaurs. Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino, Nino. Oh my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Oh. Don't worry, me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you oh. seen the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you Remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. 
We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> But not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Instead, Miss Rabbit. Certainly. Oh! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. Ooh. And that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> and so Peppa, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work! <gasps> the attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> a super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead, like this. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh, 
Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lake. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Try, Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> What's this? Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Peppa Pig Tails. Let's jump in. Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese. And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. <laughs> camera. Have fun. But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody! One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> Pepper and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund. You can do it. It's really fun. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, 
Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea. Whee! Hooray! We did it. Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> This is the final Whoa! room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> A clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Peppa and her family have bought lots of food at the supermarket. And now they have very rumbly tummies. <laughs> What's for dinner? My tummy's making lots of noises. Tonight we're making tacos. Yay! What's a tacto? And how do you make them? <laughs> It's a delicious food from Mexico. And the best way to make tacos is all together. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are washing vegetables for their tacos. Let's make sure the vegetables are nice and clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. <laughs> <laughs> now, Peppa and Mummy Pig are nice and clean too. Now the vegetables are clean, we can carefully slice some onions. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> What's wrong, Daddy? Don't you like onions? Oh, don't worry, Peppa. The juice from the onion sometimes makes your eyes water. I just need something to cover my eyes. I know. Pepper knows a perfect way to protect their eyes from the onions. These are perfect, Pepper. Ah, onions again, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll make some guacamole. Hooray! I love guacamole. Then you can mash the avocado, Peppa. Peppa likes <laughs> mashing the avocado. It's very fun and messy. Oops! <laughs> Perhaps try a bit more gently, Peppa? Perfect! Now we mix in other ingredients. And add a very special squeeze of lime. Squeeze! <laughs> All right, George. You can add the special squeeze. Yay! Oh, 
It's a good job I'm wearing my safety goggles. <laughs> now all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put the tacos together. This is the best bit. Take your tortilla like this. And add your favourite ingredients. <laughs> Peppa likes her taco with lots of guacamole. George likes his taco empty. Mummy and Daddy Pig like their tacos with everything. Mm. Everyone thinks the tacos are very tasty. <gasps> but they've all dropped their filling. Hooray! Now we can put them together again. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> No splashing, Mr. Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's okay, Mr. Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly, Mr. Bull. No running. Sorry again. Mr. Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is, everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh! Oh! Have a splendid time, Mr. Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Right you are, Peppa! Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set. And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh. Finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! <laughs> Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no splashing! <laughs> It is bedtime, but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> Dory! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes. Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> Until one day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Pepper. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie! Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny! Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go! Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. Today, 
Mummy Pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. <laughs> oh! Sorry, Mummy Pig. I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Peppa is very good at having ideas. Hello, Mrs Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh! <laughs> Peppa has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First we are going to, um... What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. I'll get you some lemony water, <laughs> Mrs Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hey! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. OK. <laughs> Time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own <laughs> foot bath. This ought to do the trick. <laughs> ah, that's so relaxing. <gasps> Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. <laughs> Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Peppa. <laughs> you have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. Uh, um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Peppa finds the massage very tickly. Your turn, Mummy. Ooh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very different... To my normal massage. It's a special pepper <laughs> massage. Choo choo. Now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is a mask made of mud. Yes, a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. I've got an idea. Pepper is very, <laughs> very good at having ideas. We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness! we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no! We're going to get all wet. Not to worry. We can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> So, we are here, and we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go. First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train oh. is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. 
Hello everyone, welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh. We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First, you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon, they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children! Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Peppa. <laughs> ours can be blue. <laughs> Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. <laughs> but Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. Now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. Phew! <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, Perfect. And now, I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back! Madam Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red! Ours is blue! Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. I think we made too much lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes. But everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. Ooh. And that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. 
Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes. Use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Oh. It didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Pepper is taking a big runner. But the sand is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> Good well show. done, George. I'll <laughs> just have to keep trying. <laughs> Peppa is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Whoa! My ice cream. Aha. Uh -huh. uh. But uh. nothing seems to be working. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. Whoa. Oh, dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah! Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points! Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practising. But there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. <laughs> Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Today, Pepper and George are going for a picnic with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Nearly there! It's Pepper's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you okay, Pepper? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Pepper? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Pepper, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Pepper? Um... We need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Pepper. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without uh -huh. getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need anything else, Pepper? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Done, Pepper. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Pepper. Oh. 
But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it for them. <laughs> Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? I'm the referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. Now, Pepper is the referee. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh, dear. Peppa likes being the referee, and she really likes blowing the whistle. <gasps> Your shoelace is undone. <gasps> You're not smiling. Oh! You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Pepper is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. <gasps> oh! <gasps> You're running too fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh! Woof, woof. Your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof! Can we have a go now? I want to kick. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> Referee! This duck is too sweet. Referee Peppa! Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Peppa. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That's OK, Daddy. But I think it's your turn to referee now. <laughs> <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. 
hedgerow. The red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Pepper loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. And Pepper is having some delicious breakfast. Oh. What's happened to the cereal? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> April Fools? What's that? Today is April Fools' Day. It's a day where people make each other laugh by playing silly jokes. Like I just did with your cereal. I like silly jokes. <laughs> Can we do one on Daddy? <laughs> That's a great idea. Daddy Pig is reading on the sofa, but Mummy Pig and Pepper have come to play a joke on him. Could you please pass my glasses, Mummy Pig? Of course. Pepper <laughs> and Mummy Pig are playing a joke on Daddy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> That's strange. These glasses have made it even harder to see. April Fools! April Fools. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. Oh, these are joke glasses. Very funny, but you won't be able to play another joke on me. I am much too clever for that. Peppa <laughs> is playing another joke on Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Huh? I can't open this tube of crisps. Can you help me, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. Hmm? Whoa! Oh, 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 that gave me a fright. <laughs> April <laughs> Fools! <laughs> you got me again, Pepper. Well done. <laughs> Would you like to help me play an April Fools Day joke on Mummy Pig, Pepper? <laughs> Pepper and her family have finished mm. dinner and are now eating dessert. <laughs> Aha! Me and Pepper have made a tasty chocolate cake for dessert, haven't we, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> How lovely! It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My fork doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Try with your hands. Pepper and Daddy are playing a joke <laughs> on Mummy Pig. <gasps> this isn't a cake. This is a sponge with icing on it. April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> what a clever joke. That reminds me. George brought some biscuits for you, Peppa. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, George. I love biscuits. Whoa. April Fools! Peppa loves April Fools Day. Everyone loves it. Stop! Today, Peppa and her family are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. It'll be an adventure. 
See you soon, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and another. <gasps> hmm. oh. <gasps> <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds... right. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh... Um... Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck. Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck, duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time! I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. <laughs> Pepper and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm. Something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat. eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. What a beautiful pillow fort. Can we have something to eat, please? Of course. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here, maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold! <laughs> There's the ball! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <laughs> oh, I can fit through anything. <sighs> <gasps> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. <sighs> Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. 
be you. <laughs> All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, <laughs> very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh, mm, mm, yum! Peppa oh. has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa mm. thinks cravings are delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That was very yummy. <laughs> what else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Peppa. I have a baby in my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more this like one? foot tickles. Oh. oh! There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh, hi, Peppa. <laughs> hi, George. Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. With the one and two. And one, two, three, four! Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time. Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes! Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up <laughs> in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! 
<gasps> Ooh. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping, bubbles, popping away. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert, too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop pop popping bubbles. Ooh, that feels so squishy. Peppa and her playgroup are playing lots of games today. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like jelly. Correct. Feels like a banana. Correct again. <laughs> <gasps> oh, mm. tastes like banana too. <laughs> <laughs> Your go, Pedro. But I don't want to touch something smushy. It'll be okay. Our smushy things were delicious. Oh, it's cold and made of metal. Is it a key? It is. Well done, Pedro. Hooray! It's a key to a special mystery box. You need to find two more to unlock the prize. Ooh! How do we find more, Madam Gazelle? In our next game, of course. These are piñatas. You have to find the exciting surprises inside. How do we do that? You break them open with these soft foam bats. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Hooray! It's full of snow. <laughs> Mine too. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> I did it! The second key! Only one more to go. I love Parsa Parcel. Me too. Me three. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I won. This is a very long song. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, the music stopped. <laughs> Hooray! Now Peppa and her friends have found all three keys, it's time to find out their prize. Yum! You did it, Peppa! You all did it together, Pedro. Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. There, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Peppa loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? 
It is fixed and ready after all. Whee! Ha ha ha! Well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this? Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clot. <laughs> right, oh then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. I suppose it's good fun at the bottom, too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with, Mr. Bull. Meow. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Oh. Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy Pig Whoa. and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! <laughs> Today is pancake day at Pepper's Playgroup. Ah. the pancake pictures? Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot, so you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Lovely. Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. 
Madame Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Oh. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Susie. Goodbye, Peppa. Oh. Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is backwards day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, have fun. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it. Try to catch me. <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Ooh. Coming. <laughs> oh. I know. Let's. Play backwards in the park. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Peppa and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. <laughs> Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Peppa and Susie Sheep spend backwards day playing in the park. Backwards swinging feels the same as forward. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards! No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch! <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed backwards day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for an adventure to the seaside. Hooray! Yay! Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Oh dear, I think I forgot to put petrol in the car. Never mind. Let's take the train to the beach. Hooray! Peppa and her family are catching a train to the seaside. Tickets, please. We're going to the seaside. And Mummy didn't put petrol in the car. How exciting. <laughs> I love the seaside. I think it's time for some lunch. Pepper, <laughs> let's look for the dining carriage. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Pepper are walking through the train to the dining carriage. It is very wobbly. This carriage must be for passengers who want to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! This carriage must be for people who want to play on the train. Wow! Hi, Danny! Hi, Gerald! <laughs> Whee! 
<laughs> oh. This must be the cinema carriage. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Peppa and Daddy Pig have found the dining carriage. <sighs> this carriage must be for people who want lunch. Oh. Is that your tummy rumbling, Daddy? I'm afraid the train has broken down. Oh dear, we'll have to take the bus. Now, Peppa's family are waiting to catch the bus uh, to the seaside. Uh -huh. ah. All aboard! <laughs> Next stop, the seaside! Hooray! <laughs> The bus has broken huh. down. I think somebody forgot petrol again. <laughs> now how will we get to the seaside? Well, we can walk. The seaside is just down the hill. This was the best trip to the seaside ever. I can't wait to see how we get back home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. <laughs> Bless you, Peppa. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called <laughs> pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Ooh. Thank you for helping the flowers, little bee. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. So it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes. So, you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. Peppa isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches, and Pepper loves bees for all the kind things they do. Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? Yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But 
but we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes. Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Pepper. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Pepper. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? 